Um, Hey guys, welcome to this week's Hot or Not Thursday. I am so excited because I am finally doing a ColourPop video. ColourPop themed. Let me take that back. Hey guys, welcome to this week's Hot or Not Thursday. Today I am going to... Uh, There's a plane. Oh my god. Something is going down. There's lots of helicopters. Hope everyone's okay. I'm really into the ColourPop thing right now. Oh my god, this sounds so sponsored and it's not. I just like it. Take five because I sound like a robot. Hey guys, welcome to this week's Hot or Not Thursday. We are playing with a very exciting new kit. This is the Forever Freshman, even though I know I'm far from being anything freshman these days, uh, but do not be intimidated. This is a sophisticated kit. It is for all ages. We are gonna swatch it. We are gonna play with this. I did receive this in the mail and I put it to the test and I created this look. Uh, that I have going on today and literally on the day that I first played with this and was swatching it and I created this look I was looking in the mirror like Are you kidding me? Um, it is the easiest makeup to use like so incredibly stupidly easy I feel like it is finger paints that end up making you look like a pro This look right here only took a couple of minutes and I am really tempted to do an actual tutorial for you guys If you would like to see that let me know you get six eyeshadows in this kit uh, Eyeshadows from Colourpop the reason I'm kind of sneaking this into drugstore week is because they are the same price or even less expensive than drugstore They're five bucks each and if we can just like Quick sneak peek on the back of my hand. These are so incredibly pigmented. Oh my god. I keep seeing them on Instagram and I'm like, I'm gonna order a lot. I feel like I want to try a lot of this product out. So I am wearing three of the shades on my eyes right now. I am wearing the shade 90210, which is a gorgeous deep brown with a little bit of golden micro shimmer on the very outer edge of my eye. I literally just packed it on up to the crease. I moved in just a little bit and put a matte shade down called As If. This is a little bit lighter, but it is matte and it just kind of blended things right through here. And then all over the lid, is my new absolute favorite. Like, I don't know what this color does to my eyes that's just like, I'm not wearing false lashes. I don't feel like I need them. I feel very beachy and pretty and still made up, but not too made up. I don't know. It's just like a weird kind of love that I am feeling for this shadow. It's so special. This is the shade Kush. It's like magic. It is the prettiest thing I think I have seen in a long while. Look at that. Oh my God. Um, so this is, and I want to show you how these swatch too, five bucks. That's not back and forth. That's just one swatch. Like, are you kidding me? Um, so I love, love, love this shadow so, so much. I think that it's super flattering. This would look great on brown eyes as well. So green, blue, brown, you're going to do great with this type of a shade. And I think this is the easiest look I've done in a long time. Like snap, get ready so fast, smudge it all around and somehow it looks really pulled together and gorgeous. The only shadow I used aside from ColourPop is I did take a little bit of saddle from MAC just on the upper portion of my crease just to add a tiny bit of warmth and to kind of blend everything out. But these products are awesome. They last all day. I did a ColourPop first impressions on Kathleen Light's little quad kit a while back. And I was really amazed that at the end of the day, there was still a shimmer, it wasn't creasing. Um, but I have to admit, since then, I haven't really tried much from the line. So I'm excited that I got this kit and I got to give it a good go. And let's just go through the colors because they are all really nice in this particular set. I feel like they are so fall appropriate. You do get a couple of very metallic. This is, uh, the shade Crimper. This is the other metallic that comes in the kit. Also totally gorgeous. I'll show you on swatch. Look at that. So you could do a very similar eye look what I have on right now, but instead of using this, you could use this. You could rotate from cool tone to warm tone. Either one would look really, really pretty. Um, just to show you, let's just play. So I just want to show you that that golden color can work 
beautifully still with that taupey silver. You could wear both of them together. Really, really pretty. Um, yeah, nothing bad to say about that one at all. Then we can move into this guy right here, which is a Satin Luxe. This is the one that has a little bit of that brown micro glitter. I don't feel like it really shows up so much. Like I was still able to use it on the outer edge here and it's not like it's catching so much light. It's not like it's super metallic by any means, but it does have a sheen to it. So that's this one right here. And here is it swatched. So you get three mattes in the kit as well. If I'm being like snap judgment, I gravitate toward the more metallic formula. Like I just, there's something so magical. So if you're watching this review and you're like, oh, I don't want to buy the whole kit. I want to buy just one shadow. If you have to pick, go with something metallic because it is just so, so unique. I also should mention that this is a really interesting formulation. It is not a dry powder shadow, but it's not super creamy either. It's like this bouncy putty cream that is really intense in pigment. You want to make sure that you keep these jars shut tightly all the way. I learned my lesson a very difficult way. One of the shadows I really, really love from the Kathleen Lights kit, I left open on my vanity and I came home and I was like, no! It dried out and it was just, oh, it was bad. I'm being really dramatic about it. But anyway, keep the lid shut um, and then it'll last a really long time. So this shade is just a more cool toned matte brown. This is called As If. I am wearing this as well. well. I guess it's kind of warm, but it's not like that orange warm. Like it has kind of an ashy gray kind of a thing going on in there as well. This is really beautiful, really easy to blend. And then we have Melrose, which is more of that autumn, ba bam, like fall leaves type of a color. This is called Melrose. And this one is gorgeous too. I mean, I don't know how they make this so great and so affordable at the same time. It really is nice. Okay, one more to swatch for you guys. This is called Baby T. That could be my nickname. I'm just saying. Uh, okay, before we get too weird, Baby T reminds me of a color from Chanel that I loved so, so much. I used it so much. It's discontinued. I had to finally part ways with it because it expired but it was just the perfect, perfect navy blue. And I have not been able to find like the right brightness of that particular blue since. This one is so close. It is seriously an intense navy blue, but it is still bold. It is still going to enhance your eye color. It is still going to show up as not just a grungy black matte which is a beautiful look if you're going for that. But if you want that beautiful navy look on your lid and you want to do something more smoky or you want to really define that outer edge of the crease, this is just like perfect. It's so, it's so pretty. I love this. You could use this to line your eye. You could smudge it out, smoke it out, kind of do what you want with makeup. You know, when, when something is sold as a shadow or as a highlighter or as a liner, put it where you want on your face, where you think it looks good. I'm all about that life. Yes, I love this whole kit, but this one, this is my love. This is, this is the ColourPop Bay right here. The shade Kush. I don't think you can buy this separately, but oh my gosh, even if you hated all the other colors, it's worth it for this particular shade because it just, it stays put like this all freaking day long too amazing okay so that is that this is a hot little kit hot item really love it thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and i hope you're having a great day and i will see you next time Mwah.